Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTNHD, and if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest in tech videos. Uh, so this week in my 9 to 5 job, we got the XPS 13 9360. The reason why we got this guy is because I am going to be distributing it to one of my users. I'm super excited to have the XPS 13. We had a couple XPS 13s uh, distribute to other users. They were super happy. So uh, this one right here is the 9360, which was released this year, 2018. So let's do the unboxing and first impressions. Okay, so what comes inside the box? Super self-explanatory. It comes with an XPS 13 quick start guide. You got your warranty and safety uh, little guide right here. You have your 45 watt power adapter. And this is the cable. We're going to hook that up real quick. Bam, done. That's it. <laughs> and then you have the beautiful XPS 13 9360. Again, it is a solid little laptop. I have distributed the XPS 13s in my office. A lot of people like them, some people don't like them, and the only reason is because of the webcam. Uh, deploying your operating system using SCCM and MDT is a pain in the butt. Hopefully I do a video on that for you guys, because it does not have an Ethernet, so how can you pixie boot? So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that later on. So let's open it up, power it on, and take a closer look on the specifications. All right, so we have the XPS 9360 model. Let's open this guy up real quick. Awesome, look at that. Beautiful. Now the display size, from my understanding, it is 13.3 inches, full HD with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Uh, it is anti-glare, which is a huge plus. The power button is located at the upper right corner right here. So I am going to press the power button to turn this bad boy on. Uh, I think the primary operating system is Windows 10, and I have to configure it, so I'm going to let that run. Now, for ports and connections on the XPS 13 9360, on the right-hand side, you have your speaker. Up top, you have your SD card slot, and right next to that, you have one 3.0 always-on USB port. On your left-hand side, you have an additional speaker right here in the bottom. Uh, right here at the top. You have a battery indicator, so if you press the button, it would tell you your life on your battery, which is a huge plus with the XPS 13s. I like that feature. Right next to that, you have your combo audio jack, which allows you to hook up your headphone or a mic. You have an additional 3.0 USB ports. Right next to that, you have your Type-C Thunderbolt 3 port. And last but not least, you have your power port. Okay, so it loaded up. I was able to configure it with uh, my basic settings, password, username, and all that good stuff. Let's look at the specifications because, again, uh, my IT manager is the one that ordered this for one of my users for my 9 to 5 job. So I'm super excited. A little bit because I have to do a little bit more work. You got to understand, I use uh, SCCM to deploy my operating systems, and I love to use Pixie. Now, for the XPS 139360, it does not have an Ethernet. So how the hell am I going to do a Pixie? So I got to see if I could get this up and running, uh, plug it into the Thunderbolts uh, ports. This little adapter gives me the Ethernet option. So that's going to be really tricky. So hopefully I do a video for you guys on how to get it configured because most likely I have to update my drivers within my SCCM environment and deploy it. So that's going to be a huge challenge. Right now, I just have like the basic Windows 10 operating system. And it just has all that crapware that I do not want my users to have. My users don't need Xbox or uh, Candy Crush, right? Now, this particular model is not the touch screen, which is a huge plus. Super happy that my IT manager did not get that model. So we're going to right click on the taskbar. Go to Task Manager. Uh, we're going to go into more details. Let's open it up. Go to performance. We're going to right click on the CPU graph. And we're going to change it to logical processor. So this right here has four cores, eight logical processors. He got the i5-8250U processor. Awesome. Quad core. 
Clock speed starts with 1.60 gigahertz. I think you could max it out to 3.4. For memory, 8 gig model. Uh, I think the memory is non-removable. So when you're doing the purchase, you could either do 4 gigs, 8 gigs, and the highest is 16 gigs. So you have to be careful what you choose. Uh, we did the 8 gig model because the user that we're giving this is not going to be doing like heavy workload. Just checking email, going online, doing a couple work documents and Excel and all that good stuff. For the C drive, we got them 128 gig solid state drive. This is a N.2. Awesome. For graphics, it comes with the Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620. So this is a very powerful laptop, especially for the user that we're going to uh, provide to. Uh, it's going to give them the ability to do a little bit of Photoshop. Uh, definitely run Outlook and go online and do surfing and do all, you know, they do the everyday thing that you need to do with these particular specifications. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think the only problem that I'm going to have is deploying my uh, custom work image to it. Now for the keyboard on the XPS 13 9360, it is backlit. So I'm going to press the F10 button to turn it on. doesn't look that bright to me. Uh, I think the distance between each key is about if you take two nickels. Now the trackpad itself, really, it's huge. A lot of real estate. If you take two quarters, a nickel, a penny, and a dime, that is the distance that you're going to get on this trackpad. The trackpad itself, I think the material-wise is like glass, I think. The entire keyboard material is like the soft carbon fiber. Feels really nice. Awesome. Cool. Now the keys itself feel extremely light, easy to type extremely fast. I'm loving that a lot. Loving, uh, loving it a lot. <laughs> so that's awesome. Now the only issue that I have on the XPS 13 lineup is the damn location of the webcam. Why is the webcam right here on the lower left hand side? I know back then the XPS 13s used to have the webcam in the middle. Uh, I do have a couple users that do not like that, so I have to give them a webcam, a USB webcam to put it here at the very top. Uh, the whole point of the XPS 13 lineup is that Infinity Edge display, but having the webcam here is so weird. I just don't understand. Right now, if I go to start, let's locate the camera. Let's load up the camera, and look at the positioning. It's, you're seeing my body. You don't see my. You don't see me. So that means I have to adjust this. When you're doing like a Zoom meeting or a conference call, you don't really like to see up. A, you know, up the person's chin. You have to position the the laptop to the point that you're able to see it face to face. I've seen that a couple of times with my users when they're doing like a conference call. They have to pick up the laptop like you know face level webcam is 720 HD which is awesome now if you're wondering about the brightness on the XPS 13 9360 model this is the brightest that we could go and this is the lowest it's not that bad uh, where I'm positioned right now I'm still able to see the wallpaper as well as the icons and the taskbar uh, the anti-glare technology does work because I have like a crap load of lighting right now and it's pretty cool. It works. Now, if you're wondering about the price on the XPS 13, it's affordable. To me, it's affordable. Uh, starting price is $800. If you want to spec it out, let's close this guy. Like, get out of here. And don't get me wrong. You, you have two models. The 9360 starting price is $800. The 9370 is going to start off around $900. But the one that I'm using right now is the 9360 model. And the highest that you could go is 950 and it all depends on how customizable you want now the starting weight is between uh, 2.9 to 2.70 under three pounds on the site you are able to configure it with the max of memory right now it tells you eight gigs but you can max it out to 16 gigs again it's going to cost a little bit more money all right guys so let's conclude our unboxing slash first impressions on the xps 13 9360 now, to tell you the truth, uh, I'm definitely going to start pulling my hair because I need to f figure out how I did the old XPS 13s when I deployed the operating system. I, ha I really feel like I created a bootable flash drive to pixie boot into and then push out my operating system. I don't want to go that route. I definitely want to see if I could get this little guy working so I could use the Ethernet, right? Again, this is a Type-C connection, so I could plug it right here. 
to plug it up real quick. Let me see if I can find it. Boom, plug it up. And I definitely want to take advantage of that Ethernet to see if I could pixie boot rather than creating a flash drive with the particular drivers and everything to work correctly. Again, this machine is running an M.2 solid state drive, so I definitely have to have those drivers within uh, you know my deployment for that to work. So it's going to be really tricky. Overall, I think the laptop itself is a user's dream, uh, but it is a IT's nightmare. Uh, I think my nightmare is deploying our custom operating system. Definitely get all those crapware out and get it ready for the user. Hopefully you guys enjoy this unboxing slash first impressions on the XPS 13 9360 model. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. If you have already deployed your custom operating system within your infrastructure using SCCM or MDT, please leave comments right below. I would love to see what's your feedback. How did you approach it? Did you do Pixie using this little guy over here? Did you create a bootable flash drive and just customize it? I would love to hear from you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.